Hi guys, my name is Jasmine Ciara. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we're going to switch things up a bit and we're going to do a more formal video. I'm going to let you guys know how my skin drastically went from this Yeah, to this. So I do want to note that my skin does have a little ways to go. My forehead, being my problem area, still has quite a few blemishes that do need to clear up. But I want to note that we have come a long way and a way to kind of celebrate myself and also just give myself a bit of grace. I thought what better way than to kind of make myself feel better than to share some of the tips and tricks that I use and I find helpful um, with you guys. So that if you're struggling with your journey and your skincare, you also can um, come to some sense of relief in what you're going through. Now, I do want to note that I am not a dermatologist and that all of the products that I use work for me. Now, if you want to make sure that you're getting the best use out of everything that I list here, please be sure to check in with your dermatologist first to make sure that the, um, that the products used will be helpful for you and your skin, okay? All right, so now that that's out of the way, let's get into the video. All right. So all of the products that I'm using today or that I that I do use are all products that I have bought and purchased with my own money. This video is not sponsored by any product listed in this video today, okay? All right. So first we're going to start with my morning routine. In my morning routine, I first go in with the Panoxyl. Now with the Panoxyl, it can be very drying, so I like to put the product in my hand, lather it with water, then apply it to my face. I let it sit for about one to two minutes, and then when, it's, when that is done, I then go in, splash my face with water with lukewarm to cool water. And then I pat dry using a um, paper towel. I did not like to use a towel or a washcloth because I feel it can be pretty rough. And if there are any, um, if you do have any acne spots, it can kind of tug and tear at those marks. And that's not what you want. You don't want to pick at any bumps or any acne or any, um, you know, white hands or anything that are appearing on your face because it only does leave black marks, as you can see here, <laughs> which I have allowed myself to do when I have gotten tired of seeing a bump there too so after going in with that panoxyl i like to go right in with my moisturizer which is the cerave moisturizing cream now with this i really love it it really targets normal to dry skin my skin is somewhere in between so i find that i don't really have too much of a problem using that product it works perfectly for me after that, I like to go in with my Black Girl Sunscreen. It's almost gone, so you can tell I really do use it and I love it. I swear by this stuff. Um, I use it on my face, my neck, my chest, and my hands. Um, those are places where we, especially as women of color, tend to wrinkle the most and the fastest, especially as we mature in age. Um, so you want to make sure that you're starting young and wearing your sunscreen. And especially with a lot of the products that I will list and talk about today, sunscreen Sunscreen is essential to your routine because you want to make sure that you're protecting every product that you put on your face as well as your skin. You do not want, um, you know, obviously all of the skincare causes that can come from sun and from the sun and things like that. You want to make sure that you are doing what you can do to prevent any damage to your skin. So make sure you're using your sunscreen, girl. All right, so let's move on to our nighttime routine. Okay, now for my nighttime routine, I like to go in with the Murad Acne Control. Now this can be pretty drying as well. So again, just please, 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 please make sure that you are moisturizing your skin. You're going to find that to be helpful in this journey. And whatever products you decide to use, just please make sure that you're staying moisturized. That is so important. Um, so again, I use the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream, okay? That's what I use after I use my cleansing. And I also use the Tretinoin cream, 
which was prescribed to me by my dermatologist she prescribed it to me in the 0.05 percent um this can be very drying so make sure you go in with a little a little literally goes a long way i go in and i pat it here 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 and a little here sometimes depending on what's going on with my skin during that time frame but i use this moisturize it in and then if I notice that my skin is getting very dry and the CeraVe moisturizing cream is not helping, I do like to go in with the Aquaphor Healing Ointment. Now, I find this to be helpful because it really goes in and adds an extra layer of moisture that the CeraVe sometimes can't target. Because again, a lot of these products can be very drying, guys. Very, very, very drying. So you want to make sure that you are using everything possible to moisturize. Um, 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 and then another thing that I like to use um, whenever it's the middle of the day, maybe I went to brunch and I came home and I want to take my makeup off, I will use the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. Now we use this as something light. It doesn't have too many products that can be too harmful to the skin. So I like to go in with my makeup wipe and then I'll go in with this just making sure that the makeup is off my skin. So anytime I'm wearing makeup, I'm using this as an extra cleanser cleanser to help make sure I'm getting all of that product off of my face now also I forgot to mention in the mornings I also use this clindamycin phosphate now it is a topical lotion and it is in one percent now let me say with the benzol and the clindamycin you can use together so these will be products that you use only in the morning only in the morning, no other time. Only in the morning, okay? <laughs> it's very important because if you use the clindamycin and if you use, um, or you know what, the clindamycin and the, um, yeah, and the Murad together, it won't work. The chemicals will kind of clash together and it won't be able to, um, you won't be able to get the results that you need. So make sure that you're doing your research and the chemicals that you're using are going together. Um, because if not, it'll kind of defeat the purpose and it'll be like, you, sh you shouldn't even put it on anyway. <laughs> so if I do decide that I ever need to wear a face mask or I want to put a mask on my face because I feel that my skin needs some extra hydration, it just needs to reboot. I go in with this Teeny Blends Detox Mask. Now a little bit of this literally goes the wrong way goes a long way you don't need a lot at all just a little and then i also use this applicator that you can just kind of glide on there and glide on your skin this only needs to be left on for maybe three to five minutes and you can go ahead and get that off now this is also something that i fell in love with and i find so 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 helpful throughout my journey and it is a steamer now this face steamer i think it does so great with opening up your pores and making and you want to do the steamer right after you wash your face so it just opens up everything and then i like to go in and put my face mask on to really ensure that all of the product is really getting in my skin and doing what it needs to do now for the last product that i will talk about are these doxycycline antibiotics now these again were prescribed to me by my dermatologist um, and I used that, well when I first started out using it, I was using it twice a day. So once in the morning and once at night. Um, I did that for about two months and that helped me drastically again. Now with these pills, what I will say, if you go to your dermatologist and you ask for the pills, just be aware that they can make you very 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 nauseous so something that i've learned that kind of helps for me is making sure that i eat a meal maybe wait about 10 to 20 minutes then i'll take the pill and take it with a whole bottle of water you want to make sure that you are drowning it with water if you're not drowning it with water everything that you just put down you will come back up um and you also cannot lay down after taking the medication um these are things that your dermatologist may relate to you or not but i had to kind of do my own research and find out on my own um but yeah you do not want to lay down after taking that medication something about it something in it just doesn't do well when your body isn't upright or you aren't moving around it will literally come back up so please if you're taking those pills please 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 make sure you are taking it with water now again everything that i mentioned today works for me and has worked for me these things may not work for you and that is totally fine take what you need leave what you don't 
Also, if you want to leave any um, reviews of anything that you've used or any recommendations for things that you've used down below, I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that. Um, I am here to take you guys' feedback as well as to give feedback. So um, I still have a problem area that I need to get rid of myself here on my forehead. So if you have any recommendations for that, I will gladly take it. There is one product that I forgot to mention that is very, 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 very important. <laughs> the Mighty Patch. The Mighty Patch is very helpful, especially during that time of the month when you're having these random little pop-ups that you just want to get rid of ASAP. What you'll do with these is to um, take the... They have like little patches. You'll take it. You'll take it off the paper. Stick it right on the uh, pimple. And I like to sleep with mine overnight. And when I wake up in the morning, normally the bump's gone. If not, it'll kind of bring it to its surface more and more when you use it. And before you know it, it's gone. So if you have somewhere you're trying to go or you, you know you have something you need to do, girl, go get you some mighty patches. Put them on your forehead. Put them wherever that problem uh, spot is. And it will literally be gone. I'm telling you. <laughs> so yeah I just wanted to come here and share a little bit and to give a little insight on some things that I do to help me with my skincare again please take what you need and leave what you don't it's perfectly okay if these things do not work for you um, again I'm open to recommendations for any things that you guys use but I want to thank you all for watching this video taking the time out to click just be sure to please like comment and subscribe and share this with someone else who may be having any issues with their skin.